That wasn't too bad. <laughs> As we gear up for the highly anticipated Sonic 3, we're diving into the mysteries that have left us buzzing with curiosity. Get ready as we explore the burning questions we all need answers to. We actually have the answer to one of the most important questions, and we're happy to announce that Jim Carrey returns. Sonic the Hedgehog 3 is one of the most anticipated movies of 2024. That's a fact. Since I've been gone, I've discovered the source of ultimate power. There have been plenty of updates recently, and based on all those updates, the third installment is gonna rock. The Sonic franchise has been one of the most successful game adaptations in the entire history of cinema, with Paramount creating a huge Sonic universe in the last decade. It's wonderful to see that there are a lot of people who have never played the games and are enjoying the movies, anxiously waiting to see what will happen in the upcoming film. Sonic the Hedgehog was released in February 2020. By the way, 2020 was four years ago. The well-received project became the highest-grossing video game film adaptation of all time in North America. Thanks to the positive reviews, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 was quickly greenlit and was released in April 2022. And thanks to the major success of the sequel, we are now discussing the titular character's upcoming adventures in Sonic 3. Of course, one of the most exciting things about Sonic 3 is the introduction of Shadow. In one of the most exciting updates, fans were given a sneak peek into Shadow's character design for Sonic 3. Paramount released a short teaser video for Sonic the Hedgehog 3. In the teaser, you can see the logo for Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and the color scheme of the popular villain Shadow. Sonic 2's credits already tease the arrival of the iconic villain, but the short teaser gives us some interesting insights into Shadow's future. Quick stretch, little snack, and here we go. The end of the clip actually confirms that the part for Shadow has already been cast. However, we still don't know who is set to play the part. Shadow has the same abilities as Sonic, but he is the evil version of the titular character since he lacks a moral compass, which is what's interesting because we still don't know whether he'll be Sonic's friend or enemy in the third installment. I guess he'll start as the enemy and will quickly turn into an ally. Either way, it would be fun to see Sonic and Shadow next to each other. We do know that Jim Carrey will return to reprise the role of Dr. Robotnik in Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Following the release of the second installment, Carrey revealed that he is about to retire from the film industry, a statement that made his future in the Sonic franchise uncertain. Luckily, he's back for yet another adventure. Hope I'm not too late. I'm sorry, who are you? Name's Tails. Now the ending of Sonic 2 left us with plenty of questions. Let's discuss the questions regarding the Master Emerald, shall we? How does this thing work exactly? Emeralds have a huge importance in the Sonic universe, both in the game and the film universe, but the ending of Sonic 2 left us all wondering how the Master Emerald works after Knuckles restored it without the Chaos Emeralds. It's been revealed that the Chaos Emeralds needs to be used together with Master Emerald to function, but Sonic released the Chaos Emerald without reuniting them. This storyline left us all confused and wondering about the actual function of the Master Emerald. I guess Sonic 3 will answer this question. If you have any theories about this, feel free to share them in the comments. And this isn't the only question regarding the Master Emerald. If the Master Emerald remained shattered, all problems would have been solved. At the end of the film, Sonic finally defeats Robotnik, and things seem to be back to normal. However, Knuckles then takes the shards of the Master Emerald and joins them back. The Master Emerald is not a good thing since it has the ability to make the villains in the Sonic universe more powerful. This only only makes us wonder why Knuckles did what he did. What's the point of his decision? Why wouldn't he leave the Master Emerald shattered? What do you guys think? Let's talk about Sonic's rings. Ah, the power rings and their importance. This storyline here doesn't make any sense. I mean, the power rings have a major significance in the Sonic universe, but the creators seem to have forgotten about their significance. Sonic lost the rings while chasing Knuckles. Moments later, he asked Tom to use one of the rings in order to save him. The creators completely forgot about the rings at the end of the film, and the loss of the rings was never brought up. Blue Justice, trademark pending. You're still just a kid. Woohoo! 
The fact that anyone could find the rings raises a lot of questions. I guess the creators will clear this up in the third installment. You'll be happy to know that we've got an exclusive look at Sonic 3's hidden nods to the gaming universe. Stick around for the mid-video thrill, and let's uncover Sonic's secrets together. Is Keanu Reeves behind the voice of Shadow? I hope this is true. As mentioned before, Shadow was first teased in the post credit scene of Sonic the Hedgehog 2. With the already released teaser, we know that Shadow will have a major influence on the plot of the third installment. Fans have been sharing their suggestions about who should voice Shadow's character since the character's tease in the second film. According to most of them, Keanu Reeves is the perfect fit for the part. People who have seen John Wick strongly agree that the actor should play Shadow. But what about Dr. Robotnik? Dr. Robotnik's return in the third installment is equally as important as Shadow's arrival. The iconic villain has been part of the franchise since the very beginning, and both the movies and the series feature him as the main antagonist. At the end of Sonic 2, viewers can see Dr. Robotnik falling from his giant robot. Step one, light taunting. Step two, I have no idea. We have no idea where he is, and we don't know his next move. We do know that Stone is looking for him, though. What do you guys think is Dr. Robotnik's next move? How is he going to fit into the plot of the third installment? Are we going to see Sonic the Hedgehog vs. Metal Sonic? Dr. Eggman's only purpose has been to defeat Sonic. At one point, he even creates Metal Sonic, an evil robot version of Sonic the Hedgehog. Seeing Sonic and Metal Sonic together is one of the most anticipated things in the franchise. Fans would love to see Metal Sonic in the third installment, but to be honest, I don't think we'll see the character anytime soon, especially with the introduction of Shadow in the upcoming film. Perhaps the creators will introduce Amy Rose in Sonic the Hedgehog 3. This will be such a great addition. If the Sonic franchise goes beyond its third installment, the introduction of Amy Rose in Sonic 4 would make perfect sense. The character had her debut in the 1993 game Sonic the Hedgehog CD. She quickly fell in love with our beloved titler character and, well, the rest is history. I seriously think the creators need to give Sonic a love interest in the third installment. Do you agree? Let us know before we reveal some surprising plot details. What else could happen in the upcoming film? At the end of the sequel, we see the game's concept of Super Sonic. In other words, the third film will be all about Sonic power by the Chaos Emeralds. More importantly, the second film ends with Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles being together. This means Sonic, Knuckles, and Tails are embarking on a new adventure together as a trio. Then, of course, we have Shadow the Hedgehog. There is a big chance that Shadow will become the main villain in the third film. If the creators decide to dive deep into Shadow's origin, we we should expect a darker story. This is only if they stay loyal to the source material. Perhaps we'll even see Rogue the Bat, a partner of Shadow in the games. Only time will tell. Thanks for racing through these intriguing Sonic 3 mysteries with us. If you've got a burning question of your own or spotted something we missed, drop a comment below. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. See ya!